Deadly Tarantula Girl coming to you from the outskirts of Roswell. Today I'm filming with a very famous turtle and his beautiful owner, Angel. Today we're going to meet Angel and hear the story of Dusty's scary disappearance and the way he was returned to his owner. Angel, come on over. Like my newscaster voice. <laughs> Angel, something terrible happened this year on February 16th. Tell us about that. Well, I was actually moving to Clovis, New Mexico, so my aunt, Shauna, actually was taking Dusty for me. And it had been about 10 days since he's been there, and she calls me frantic, and mm -hmm. I was actually in the middle of wedding planning in El Paso, Texas. And she calls me to tell me Dusty is gone, oh, no. and it had already been two hours because... You know, we had seen him on Facebook. Unfortunately, on Facebook, you can't get onto the Pet Finder pages unless you're a member. So mm. it took me hours to get on there. But I did end up calling the sheriff's office because, of course, animal control was closed. You know, all those places were closed. So I called desperately calling the sheriff for, um, actually, I tried to do an Amber Alert on my tortoise. But <laughs> apparently, you can't do an Amber Alert on a tortoise, even though he's like my child. So, you know, I ended up calling the sheriff, and he felt terrible for me. So he actually got on the page himself and posted Dusty. But unfortunately, all the amazing neighbors had seen him who didn't know that he was here. Um, he had already gone his way. And oh, wow. he actually went to the Burrow Creek. That's where he was headed. And that was what, last where he was seen, like, poof and be gone. Like, he just oh. vanished. So, of course, I was thinking the worst. Yes, I know that this made a flurry of news and social media. Tell us a little bit about that. Thank you, Faith from KOB for sharing his story. And thank you, Alex from Roswell Daily Record. You guys, because of you, Dusty got famous and it was all over. I mean, actually, uh, Jamie found out from an Arizona friend that Dusty was famous and that was my tortoise. So thank you guys, especially thank you to you. Anyways, so um, after KOB shared it, um, actually it just went viral. So if you look up 100 pound torti turtle or tortoise, but you'll find that he was shared all across the USA and they just did a little tidbit because you know, right. you know, in journalism you can't copy. So they kind of, you know, retold the story mm -hmm. in different words. My aunt's name was in there and they said the niece's tortoise. And then of course there was the wrong picture. I think there was <laughs> even a snapping turtle in one of them. Oh my and goodness. then, oh, and then a friend messages me on Facebook. She's like, did you know Andy Cohen made a joke about your tortoise I was like excuse me she's like I was scared to tell you until you found your tortoise but he said that how do you lose a hundred pound turtle maybe you need to do more cardio wow <laughs> well he was found Andy what do you think of that yeah <laughs> he was missing for days on end we were experiencing terrible drastic winter storms it was the very end of the winter and so 14 days later tell us what happened at that point I know that even your wedding plans got put on hold and it was 14 terrifying days when of course you feared the worst. So mm -hmm. tell me what happened two weeks later. Well, we were honestly, we were ugly crying because uh, <laughs> she calls me up and she's like, Dusty's back and I could barely hear her. And I'm like, what? And I mean, if you look at, I actually have a screenshot of the face time call we did when oh, wow. this amazing lady found her. If you look at my face, I was just in shock. Like I thought oh. I was actually dreaming because I honestly thought he was gone forever. Oh yeah. I was honestly happy. I called my aunt, called my mom, and we just all were ugly crying and FaceTiming. Cause <laughs> I mean, he's everybody in the family. It's like, he's part of the family. It's oh, not yeah. like just everyone loves him. And my whole hometown was worried. I mean, he was everywhere across the U.S. I mean, there's people that I didn't even know oh that were like messaging me on Facebook and like, is Dusty back? And so wow. it was amazing. I then had to do an over, it was actually overwhelming trying to tell everyone. And I'm sure I didn't even tell everyone, but right. I actually had to, you know, tell all the Facebook pages, all the reptile pages across the U.S. and my own Facebook page. He actually has a Facebook page now. I mean, <laughs> it's still kind of under construction. I don't have a lot on it, but it, everybody was just so excited to have him food. back. Well, that is absolutely incredible. Now, I know that he had just kind of, during the windstorm, the gate had blown down and he had actually wandered onto a neighboring ranch. Yes, it was actually only within the ranch. So the ranch itself was only about three fourths of a mile from my aunt's, uh -huh. but where he was at in the yard was a mile and a half in. Wow. So that's at least how much he traveled that we know of. Not to mention all the circling around he did on right. the land. He actually uh, made a burrow yeah. and 
He um, was friends with the horses and dogs, which I'm not surprised because I've had a German Shepherd um, a good part of his life and they were best friends. Basically, Dusty made friends and this amazing lady, she's actually a barrel racer. Oh. Her name's Jamie uh, Keegan, I believe mm. is how you say last name. And uh, she actually races in the nearby you know, area. She found him and at first she didn't even know what it was. And her <laughs> horses and dogs were actually very upset when he left. So they Aww. accepted him as their own. So <laughs> Dusty makes friends wherever he goes. That is a beautiful story. Well, this and she would not take a reward because oh. we did have a $500 reward yes. that my best friend Eric, actually Eric Gorham put up my childhood friend. Um, and she would not take it. Wow, so. that's incredible. We want to thank Jamie for being such a kind-hearted person that she found such a beautiful and valuable reptile and not only returned mm -hmm. him to his rightful owner, but didn't accept the reward. That's incredible. Angel actually is also a model and an actress, so we're gonna be linking her social media and some of her works that she's done. Uh, for more Dusty, make sure to check out his Facebook page. Thank you so much for being with us and for sharing Dusty with Thank us Thank you so much for coming and doing an interview. Dusty appreciates it. Aww. I appreciate it. And <laughs> I'm just so glad he got to do his exclusive with you. Yes, he did. Well, I hope you guys like this one and we'll see you soon. Thank you.